Hi everyone, and welcome back to this ongoing series where we make generative art using Rust, outputting to a GIF or video file. If this is your first time, then welcome. For an explanation of the base project from which this one is derived, you can see video zero in this series, or check out the GitHub link in the description. This episode, we'll be making a cascading letter matrix, where each letter fades to a green color before disappearing. First, we have to update cargo.toml, as there are a couple of missing dependencies. So we add in rand at version 0.8.5 and rust type at version 0.9.3. With that done, we now go to main.rs in the source folder, and we need to add in an import statement of use image proc drawing draw text mute. We also need to use rust type and import both font and scale from this library. We also need to pull in RAND RNG, which stands for Random Number Generator. We're also going to add VEC to our imports from STD. We will leave the width and size at 600, but change the frames to 100. And we will change the number of repetitions to 10. And now we create a new const called size of type U32 and value 128. And we're going to replace our decay constant with three different constants, so that the red, green, and blue components of each pixel decay at different rates, meaning we can favor one color in the decay. In this case, a bias towards green. By setting the red decay rate to six, the green decay rate to four, and the blue decay rate to five. We will also create a new const called number of characters per line of type U32 and value 24. If you make your own version taller, you may need to adjust this to make sure each letter sits closely together. Then we create a constant called number of lanes of type U32 and value 18. This is the number of lanes across we will have. Then we will create a function called getFont, which returns a font object with a static life type. This is just to keep the code a bit tidier. On the first line of the function, we create a variable called font underscore data of type reference to a U8 byte array, and we call the macro include bytes, passing in the name of the font we want to use, in this case, we only have one option of Fire Sans Bold, but you can download other fonts. Then we create our return type of font with a static lifetime by calling font try from bytes and passing in the raw font data, adding an expect on the end to handle error returns. Then we simply return the font we've parsed. Now we're going to create a struct called letter drop, which will hold the data for each channel. The first attribute is x of type i32. The next is offset of type u size. Then letters, which is a vector of type string. And finally, cur cell, short for currently selected and of type u size. Now we scroll to just below where the output buffer is made. And we create a variable called font by calling the function we made above of get font. Then we create a variable called RNG, which is our random number generator. Then we create our letter channels, calling it letter drops of type vec vec letter drop, and we initialize it using vec new. We calculate the lane width by subtracting 10 from the width to leave a five pixel border either side and then dividing the number of lanes so they will be evenly spread. Now we create a loop for lane num between zero and number of lanes. First, we create a vector called vec letters using new to initialize it. Then we create a loop from zero to number of characters per line. Then inside the loop, we create a letter variable of type char, and this is selected at random from a range of A through to Z. Then we format the character into a string called S using the format macro. Then we push that formatted string into the vector of letters. Then we calculate a random offset of type U size by calling the random number generator with gen range from zero to the number of characters per line minus one, cast as U size. Next, we create our instance of the letter drop struct, setting the X value to the lane number times the width cast to an I32 and adding five for the border. Our offset is just the offset calculated above the cast is actually not needed because it's already of type U size. The letters attribute is the vector of letters created above. And the currently selected is zero, not forgetting the semicolon on the end of the clause. 
Lastly, we add the letter drop object to the vector of letter drops. Now we need to update the decay of each color, so we scroll to the bit where this calculation is done on each frame. And we set the decay for the red component to be red decay, the decay for the green component to be green decay, and the decay for the blue component to be blue decay. Then we scroll down to the area denoted by the comment to do put code here. First, we calculate the fraction by dividing the frame number by the total number of frames. We boundary check this so that if it is greater than 1, i.e. it's on its second pass of the frames, then we treat it as though it was the same as the first pass by subtracting 1 from it. Then we loop through every letter drop in the letter drops vector. And we calculate the currently selected item by calculating the length of total letters multiplied by the fraction that the frame is currently through the whole run. Having calculated the fraction through, we coerce this to U size and add the offset to get the currently selected letter index. If the currently selected letter index is beyond the length of the number of letters, then we wrap this around by subtracting the total number from the current selection. Now we calculate the cycle position fraction, which is how far through the current selection is after it's been normalized and wrapped around for the whole list. And the Y position is the fraction multiplied by the height of the image. Then we calculate the letter height by dividing the height by the total number of letters. Now we have all of that, we can call our function for drawing the text, draw text mute. First, we pass in the image as a mutable reference. Then we pass in the color white, which is 255, 255, 255. The X coordinate is letter drop dot X. The Y coordinate is Y pos. Then we scale the text by using a scale object with X and Y values of 32.0. And we pass a reference to the font. And finally, we pass the letter, which is taken by using the cur cell item on the letter drop as the index in the vector of letters. Then we call run underscore build dot sh. This will take a while because there's a lot of computation to do. Once this is finished, you can click on the GIF and see the cascading letters. And you can see the video has also generated as expected. Thank you for joining us as we created a cascade of letters in a matrix, which is similar to a part of a certain film that came out in the 90s. We hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, then please consider subscribing to help grow the channel and set the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is out. If you create your own art with the Framework project, then please leave a comment letting me know, or submit a pull request on GitHub. I'd love to feature some of your creations on the channel. For now though, I'll wish you a good day, hope to see you again soon. Bye for now!